Good morning, guys. It's a windy day in Hawaii. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Let's start our day. Guys, the wind is crazy. Look at my hair. I turned, <laughs> I turned Super Saiyan. Morning. So we drove 30 minutes for breakfast. Where are we going? Yes, yeah, so we're at Taniokas, which is famous for their fresh seafood and poke bowls. It was recommended by a local that we met at Ala Moana. Yeah. So we're gonna check it out. Let's do it. Yay. Can't wait to try some seafood. Alright, so walking into Tanioka, Tapioca? Tanioka. Tanioka, very busy place. A whole bunch of seafood. It reminds me of going to those Asian grocery stores, like a butcher, and you're just picking out different meats or seafood, and this is just all diced up uh, sashimi, raw fish that you can just order in a poke bowl, or a whole bunch of other things. Then you got a selection of masubi to choose from, you've got uh, karage, fried options, drinks. It was a little bit too hectic for me. You're walking, there's a huge line and people just doing this and doing that. So many people serving, but we managed to get a few things. So let's go and try them out. There's nowhere to eat inside the store. So we're back in the car. Listen, I'm going to admit it. I panicked and I didn't know what to order. And we only ended up with three things. We got the Poke bowl? What is this there? Al Alay poke? Alay poke. Yeah. Alay poke. And I then we got a chicken musubi and a spam musubi. Yeah. This is the first time we're having musubi in yes. Hawaii. They okay. also had a lot of bento boxes, but um, we just couldn't decide on one, so we just picked this. Yeah. The thing is, this is just first breakfast. It's really lunch time yes. right now, so we're going to have lunch after this, but so these we want the, something small. Yeah, but these were the most popular items on the menu. Yeah. Plus, a lot of the, um, the fish were sold out already since it's in the afternoon, so if you want to go early, you'd get more variety. Okay, so I got my Spam Masubi. It's got rice, a mm. bit of, what is that, soy? Some sort of dark sauce in there. I've had this before. It's not my first time eating Spam Masubi. I had it uh, a while ago when I went to San Francisco from a food truck, and it was okay. It was decent. It wasn't amazing. Nothing uh, overly special, but, you know, let's try it out. Try it. Mmm. Spam's a lot better than buying it from a tin in Australia and frying it in the pan. I think they like coat it in some sort of sauce. A little bit better than I thought, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Decent. Well, I've never seen a chicken musubi before, so I'm really excited because I can't eat that one. And it smells just like a teriyaki chicken with rice. Oh, that's pretty good. Mmm. Yeah. The chicken is cooked really well, and the sauce is delicious. It just feels like I'm eating a chicken teriyaki sushi, but in a musubi form. Yeah. It is what it is. No, I'm laughing because it's a sushi. <laughs> Yum. I love how big it is as well, so it's a perfect size for a snack. Pokeball. This fish was constantly sold out. It kept running out. They had to get more from the back. It's got a, a whole bunch of seasoning, a sauce. It looks so good. On top of a bed of rice. And then you got seaweed, spring onions, all that kind of goodness. I don't eat raw fish, but I feel like I'd want to try this just because mm. it looks really good. Yeah, so going in there, there's a huge line, but the line moves very quickly, so you don't actually have that much time to decide what you want. I feel like we didn't have a lot of time to decide on what to choose because everyone already knew what they were getting yeah. so by the time it came to us we were like holding up the line and we're like oh my gosh let's just pick whatever the <laughs> subi is popular pokeballs let's just get that and get out so that's why we ended up with these three things but that's good enough mm. that is good enough that's all you need i reckon so here it is guys there oh. is look at that big mm. juicy cube of fish oh Mm -hmm. So good. I'm not the biggest fan of Pokeballs. I don't know how I feel about 
a rice and raw fish. It, Isn't it's that something... sushi? Rice and raw fish is sushi. And you love sushi. That's true. What are you saying? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my. I don't need the rice. I don't need anything. I just need this. This is so good. Wow. The flavors are so good. It's salty. You got these like spicy salt pieces that like gives it a little kick. Do you reckon I'll like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just saying that so you can eat it all? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like the same soft and meltiness you'd get from Wagyu. Mm. Except the fish style. I didn't know fish could be this soft. Can it's... I have just half? Can ha you take a bite out of it, please? <laughs> yeah. This is my second time eating raw fish. The first time was we went to Japan last time. Yeah, and that was the worst because we went to a fish market and it was so slimy. Because it's just straight from the ocean. How's that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. It's so raw. Well, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Definitely worth the 35 minute drive. Even though we didn't order everything, or probably all the best things, we got enough to satisfy our Hawaiian Pokeball needs yes. and Masubi feels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>raining now first day it's ever rained in hawaii we found a walmart so we're gonna check it out <laughs> we've never been to one before so we want to check it out ah! <laughs> this place is a huge i feel like a little kid in a toy store i love it already it's so, it's so big you guys are so lucky americans and hawaiians you know that mcdonald's inside yo what? So when you finish shopping oh or you're hungry, you just go get a snack? Oh no! We got asked from a tourist store for eight dollars. <laughs> oh no! Oh smart Walmart, you've got security cameras and a lock for the baby powder. Unlike Coles in Australia, keep the Chinese away. <laughs> I feel I feel uncomfortable standing here. People probably give me looks. Wow. Ha, <laughs> ha, Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> this is so big! Is that a card for giants? Why? You guac my world. You guac my world. Yay! Just wanted to let you know how truly special you are to me. Dear Delena, love. John. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're three dollars. A swan in Australia is six dollars. Yeah, a hallmark in Australia would be six to ten dollars. Come on, I could sleep with this. This could be my blanket. Come on. Onions. What's going on? Donuts. Pastries. It's like a Coles, Kmart, and Target all yeah. put together. Yeah. Yeah. On steroids. And a Costco. It's like a Costco oh, as well. Yeah. That looks nasty. Sour Patch cereal. What the hell? Oh my god. Yes. I've been craving these since I went to San Francisco. Red Velvet. You cannot get this back on. Are you serious right now? I'm craving. We have your hands at home. I know, and I eat them all the time. My favorite. <laughs> okay. Dude, Oreos. O's. Oreo O's. Cereal. Mm -hmm. Say that three times. Oreo O's. Cereal. Oreo cereal. Oreo cereal. Oreo. <laughs> Oreo. Uh, <laughs> the big ass cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> oh my god, it's big.
bigger than my head. Oh my god. I can fit like two of those in my suitcase like and that's it. Yeah. My food, baby. Board games. Whole bunch of toys as well. Killer Betty. We old, so we play board games now. Babe, 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 I found something for you. American. Yes. It's pretty similar yes. to what I'm wearing now. Yeah. You look like you're from a tribe now. The tribe of foods. Is that? Yeah. Is that? Cute. Aloha. <laughs> Walmart. We got our Walmart purchases. Yeah. We love you, Walmart. We're going to miss you a lot. We actually will. <laughs> Let's go eat. So we're eating at Five Guys for lunch, and I've only heard great things about this place. People say it's even better than In N Out. And I've had In N Out before, and I think that's one of the best burger joints. So I can't wait to try out this place. <laughs> Look at this guys, nuts, you gotta have some nuts before you eat, how cool is that? This place is incredible, it is just incredible, listen, ordering, it's so different to any burger place we've ever been to yeah, in Australia. That's true. You get to choose your burger and then you get to choose which ingredients, which specific ingredients you want. Do you want lettuce, tomato, different yeah. types of sauces, you get to choose it kind of like a Subway. Oh, oh. Look, this is the burger I ordered. It is the bacon burger and it looks heavy. Look at that. Look, there's weight on that. This is like a dumbbell. Delana got the little cheese burger and these, not, not They're chips. Not chips. Frites. The frizz. The frizz. The freezes. Oh, look at that. I saw what happened. Okay. Basically, these are made from fresh potatoes from a place in Hawaii. And what she did was she put chips in the cup and then she got a scoop of chips and she just shoved it straight inside there. <laughs> Basically wow. giving us two cups worth. Extra. Yeah, it's so, so, so cool. Five guys take their burger making seriously. I saw a guy cooking the patty, had a thermometer, you know, those metal ones, put it in that burger patty, seeing that perfect temperature for that perfect Five Guys burger. Oh, okay, straight for the shake. We got a strawberry shake. How's that? Oh. Good. I was kind of expecting the artificial strawberry flavoring, but, but this it's is real like strawberry. the um, sweet, sour, fruity. Yeah. Shake. With American burgers and diners, they do go for a more fruity strawberry flavor. Yeah. I like the Nesquik flavor. You know, the artificial strawberry. We like strawberry the artificial strawberry, strawberry flavor. Yeah. Like a strawberry Big M. Those are my favorite. Here's the burger. Oh, wow. Is that mine? That's mine. That's yours? Yes. That's a little cheeseburger. That is not little at all. That's like the size of, that is bigger than a Big Mac back at home. So you got a patty, cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions. I got the double patty apparently with lettuce. You've got bacon, you've got grilled mushrooms, grilled onions, and a whole bunch of other goodies. So if you order just bacon burger, cheeseburger, it means that they have two patties in the burger. But if you order a little bacon burger or a little cheeseburger, it means that it's one patty. So that's why this is a bacon burger. It has two patties, but this is the little cheeseburger. So it has one patty. Yeah, but little things in America and Hawaii are larger so for us. Little. They're super sized. But oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that there was an option for the shakes where you could put bacon in it. That's right. They they get bacon strips. They get real bacon. Cut it up and they mix it in there. Apparently a really popular shake is peanut, peanut butter, butter and, and bacon. bacon. Oh, that is wow. crazy. I've never heard of a heart attack like that in my whole entire life. Uh, let's try out the food now. We got so the I little pretty much burger. made this own burger myself. It's just with lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and the beef patty and cheese. Our first time eating five guys. Wow, yum. Yeah? yeah? Wow. That's really good. The beef patty is cooked so well. It's juicy, it's soft, meaty. I feel like the lettuce is just so fresh and crunchy. It's a simple cheeseburger. Have a fritz. So they're quite thick. Yeah, they look very potato y. Um, yum. Real cut potatoes, but I prefer the French fritz. So, <laughs> so that's why these ones here, they're a lot thicker and you get a lot more potato in it. So if you love potato, this is really good. I personally prefer the thick cuts of frites. Not a big fan of the French frites. 
So this looks really good. I'm gonna try my burger first up. So I've seen this burger all over the internet, watched all the food gods like Mark Weens and Mike Chen eat it, and now it's finally my turn. I'm just a food squire, a, a mere food peasant trying something as glorious as this. Woo, let's go. That meat patty is so juicy. And that bacon, I've never had bacon so thin before. Bacon strips are so thin, they just crumble off. Oh, wow. I, that is incredible. One of the best burgers I've had at a burger chain. I'm gonna try the fritz though. That's really good, I like that really potato-y, nice amount of salt, and you can just taste the freshness. Oh, now my shake, I forgot. Oh, okay. I was expecting it, you know, you told me that it was a fruit one, but this is really fruity. Mm, delicious. Yogurty too. Make sure you try out a Five Guys burger. Definitely a delicious, delicious beast. And that was five guys. Listen, is it better than in and out Um, I don't know, really. in and out will always hold a special place in my heart for being the first American burger I ever had. So it wins in that aspect. Although, really like the burger at Five Guys. Delicious, good stuff. Juicy patties, really nice chips. I didn't really like the strawberry shake because it's more on the yogurty fruit side, but you know, who gets strawberry shakes anyway? If you get the chance to go to Five Guys, make sure you get a burger. Okay, let's go, it's raining. Aloha. So we're at Hyatt Centric, which is located right next to Waikiki Beach, and we're staying here for two nights. Yeah. So let's check out our room. Let's go. So here's the lobby. Wow, very big. Ooh, look at this. So cute. Little places to sit. This is super cute. Oh, you can take a photo right there. <laughs> I love the pink pillows that they have. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is legit your lobby. What else they have? They've got a bar. They've got more spacious areas to sit down. This man over here is having a great time sitting on I that I love thing. it. I want to try it. Yeah. What's out there? Is that the pool? Here's the pool deck. It's currently closed right now because it's raining. And very what? windy. Yeah. So here's the fitness center. Listen, a lot of people ask us, how do you keep so skinny when you eat all the time like fat potato monsters? Listen, we work out. I mean, it's the only way to do it. We have to work out. I try to get one hour a day. There's people inside, so I won't feel too much. Oh yeah. It's small, but it's got everything you need. It's got the basics. Yeah. Treadmill weights. <laughs> and lady running. Yeah, go, go you, go you lady. Babe, it's time to check out our room. Yay, let's check out where we're staying. 710, let's do it. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> well, you gotta use the key. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Than I thought it would be. It's so big. Wow. Whoa. Wow. This place is huge. What the hell? That is a really big TV. The hotel actually Couch. doesn't look that big from the outside, so I'm surprised that their rooms are so big. Mm. Babe, that thing is huge. What, what? what is in there? I'm hoping slippers. Ooh. Oh, okay. So the fridge is in here. Yep, you got the mini fridge. You've got a safe to keep my quarters because oh, that's all the money I got. 
Where slippers! Are the slippers! Oh. Where are the slippers? One last chance for the slippers. Oh! Where are... Okay, you get robes. Those robes look so Whoa. nice! It's. Oh! It's really nice. What? We don't have slippers. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet because we still have to go to the room. What? Oh, look. That's so nice. Nice big mirror. Yay! Aloha! Aloha! Right. Wow, this is so nice. There's so much space here. There is so much space. I you know. can just like have a party of out course. here. Of course. Ooh, complimentary bottles. Wow, she said we could keep these. Yeah, so you can take it around, walk around to the beach, have water with you. Wow, that's and awesome. And they look pretty good. I'll take you through the gym. That's awesome. Oh, what is that? <gasps> This is the bathroom. It's so pretty. That's a that's a huge shower. This is really Holy. big. You can definitely have a party in here as well. Yeah, you have a naked party. Wow. Nice. You got the toilet here. A nice backdrop of a giant leaf. So you can relax <laughs> when you're doing your business. It's like you're in nature. I'm always relaxed, but now it's gonna feel like I'm pooping in the rainforest. Oh, there's a mustache on the top of my bed. Oh, there's a TV oh. in here as well. Nice. That is so cute. I'd be really happy with just the bed and the yeah. bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you've got that whole space out you've there. You've got all of that, which is massive. Oh, I love how everything's circular. Circular, yeah. circular mirrors, circular windows. Let's see that view. And this is the suite, by the way, so that's why it's extra spacious. You've got a nice view here, and we're really close to the beach as well. That's so pretty. Reception, hello. Yes, um, my feet are kind of cold right now. I'm wondering where the slippers are. Slippers are very important to me. Um, they're coming. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, mum. <laughs> Time for dinner! Hey guys, we're going to dinner now. It's called Marukame and it sells... Udon! Oh yes, Udon! It's raining right now. Lucky we got an umbrella. But we're going to get some Udon to warm our cold bellies. Let's get dinner. Yeah, Oh, there's a huge line. There's a really oh, big line. Oh. I think that's it right oh, there. Okay, I think we'll see it. <laughs> I'm an Eskimo. <laughs> it is, it's huge. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay, look how long this line is. This is uh, incredible. This is the longest line I've seen in Hawaii. Wow, wow, wow. And it goes all the way around to the entrance. Alright, so we lined up at 8.16. Let's see how long this takes. It is 9 p.m. So it took 45 minutes, just a 45 minute wait. We're gonna get the curry udon and the niku udon. Excited, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very tired now, but very hungry. The 45 minute wait got me salivating looking at everybody eat. And a huge selection of tempura karage and also boiled eggs, potato croquettes. Look at that, and it's just a huge, endless supply. I love it. So we're finally inside after 45 minutes. Yes. It's only busy because there's so many people. Yeah. It's actually a really fast process. It's just order your noodles, get your karage, get your sides, yeah. and then get some sauces, find a table, yeah. and you're good to go. Yeah, so it wasn't that bad. what you get? So I got the niku tama, which is beef for niku meat, 
and ah. then the egg, which is a tamago, so it's a tama, and just with udon. Yeah. Whoa. Oy. I got the large, by the way. Yeah. She loves I, udon. I have to. One of her favorite meals. Let's try it. Oh, and for the tempura stuff, I got two pumpkin tempura because I love pumpkin. Yeah. Also the shrimp tempura and a karage, of course. Nice. I got a fried egg and a potato croquette. Hopefully you can see that. Yum, I love these things. I forgot to get egg for my udon, so. You can have some of mine. Oh, thank you. All okay. right, let's try it out. I'll try. Ooh. Ooh. Yum, that's really good. So the soup is actually more on the sweeter side. I feel like it's more on the teriyaki soy side rather than the plain miso soup that I'm used to. Try the noodles, babe. They look so bouncy. Wow. I saw the chef make those with his own bare hands, so it must be amazing. They're Been so outside cute. 45 minutes watching people eat, and it's mm. our time now. Oh. Mm. Oh my God. I'm so amazed at how good that udon is. The texture of that udon. <laughs> Holy guacamole! <laughs> I'm actually so shocked. I didn't, really? I didn't expect it to be like that good. But the texture of this udon is amazing. To be honest, I think it's a bit better than Japan. I, no way. Yeah. So the Hawaiian. I've eaten a lot of udon in Japan and they're all really good, but the texture of this noodle is wow. Crazy. So the Hawaiian take on the udon is actually very oh, impressive. Yeah. Mm. And she is the udon queen. She has it everywhere in Australia in Japan and now in Hawaii and this is one of our favorites. The udon is really good. I feel like the soup is a bit on the sweeter side so yeah. it's not too bad. Okay. But I'll try the tempura. <laughs> That's a good tempura. Hey, you can't go wrong with tempura. It's just battered shrimp. Okay, my turn. It's finally time to try this curry udon. Look at that. The noodles have been soaking in that curry sauce and it looks amazing. Oh, there you go. Wow, there are like, there are strands of beef on it, a lot of spring onion that's just caught on those noodles. It looks so good. Those noodles, so bouncy, so elastic. Like, I just bit into them and they just like, ran away from it. It's so good. Ran away. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Usually when we have curry udon, we wear like a bib because when you pull it up, it does squirt everywhere, splatters all over you. But the udon, the curry is really nice. It's, it's a bit more runny than I thought. Very good stuff, pieces of meat, and uh, just a delicious meal. It's all gone already. How fast was that? Oh my lord. Babe, give me some of your noodles. Yeah. Give me some of your noodles, transfer it over. <laughs> Babe, it's so good to be inside eating these delicious udon noodles. We used to be out there like peasants and now we're inside. No, I don't want to leave. But I can feel the eyes. You can definitely feel people like judging us like, could you hurry up? Stop filming. We want to get inside too. That's what we were doing as well to other people. <laughs> So I was thinking about the flavors of that soup and I realized it's not teriyaki, it's sukiyaki. So the sweet sukiyaki soup base, it's exactly what that is. Ooh, that was definitely worth the wait. It was so delicious. The texture of the udon was amazing. The soup was definitely on the sweeter side for me, but still so good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that was the art of udon. Yeah, there was so much attention to detail. Every strand was so bouncy, so delicious. I mean, I could just eat the noodles on their own with no soup, yeah. nothing. That's how you know it's so good. That was the main course was the noodles. Yeah, so the main so highlight were the udon noodles. Yes. It was fantastic. I will, it was worth the bloating that I will get tomorrow. I and mean, even the tempura, all it. the tempura um, stuff was really good. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. I mean, every single, like it's been sitting out there for a while, but it's still so crispy, so delicious, mm -hmm. so flavorful. And the curry udon for me, one of the best I've had. That was actually amazing. Easily. Yes.
best. Definitely. Easily the best. If you have time, highly recommend you to visit this place. Mm. It's honestly better than a few Japanese restaurants I've been to in Japan as definitely, well. So definitely. I would love to go back here to mm. try other stuff as well. Highly rated. Make sure if you're in Hawaii, Honolulu, it is called Marukame Udon. So if you're in Hawaii, Honolulu, make sure you check out Marukame Amazing Udon, udon on the same level as some Japanese, if not better, mm -hmm. Japanese udon restaurants. In Japan. Check it out. Yes. It's good. Yes. I like it. Believe us. And also, it is really cheap. So that just makes the points go up higher. I love chippy, so that's what it's all about, guys. Okay.